Hey everybody, it's uh, Ben and uh, welcome to my first video reviewing my 2021 uh, FXLRS or uh, more widely known the Harley Davidson Lowrider S. Let's get into it. So just going front to rear, so I've done a few mods to the bike so far, so from the very front uh, we've got the Memphis Shades uh, Road Warrior fairing with the 11 inch uh, smoke screen, uh, I've also put on the Memphis Shades um, handlebar covers here as well, with, um, look quite nice, I think they, they match the style of this sort of club style bike with the um, uh, Moon's MC uh, LED lighting as well, the, uh, the front indicators as well as the, uh, the rears um, too. Uh, we've put on some Bitwell uh, hand grips. Uh, I feel like they're just a little bit nicer than the standard ones, although the standard ones weren't too bad either. Uh, and um, some Lucky Speed Shop uh, shorty levers uh, done in the bronze as well, which came up quite nice. I think they, they match the... Uh, the rims and some of the uh, the detailing on the bike. Um, we've also put on uh, front and rear um, sliders that also act as, uh, I guess, the front ones uh, double as a, a footrest. Although I am keeping the the mid controls on this bike. Uh, put on some thrashing uh, foot pegs as well, which are quite quite grippy, a bit nicer than the standard ones, and they've um, they maintain like the uh, the standard mounting. So easy to, easy to put on. Uh, also put on rear, rear crash bars as well. I know a lot of the Yanks like the uh, Bung Kings. These ones are made by uh, Twisted. I think they're done by um, uh, Corrupt Corrupt Customs uh, down the Gold Coast actually. So um, they don't usually have them in stock, but I've managed to get a set um, from their latest um, run. So that's good. Obviously a put the name on there just so everyone knows it's me I was hoping to get that come out a little bit darker to to match the tank but we might fix that up at a later point in time I put on the uh, the Saddleman uh, seat the tuck and roll seat uh, the step up it's um, really comfortable uh, gel gel seat so far so good and I haven't done any real long rides to, to see how it goes but from some of the shorter runs you know 150 k's or so or you know 100 odd miles piece of cake get get off fine you'll see I've put the bags on the back here as well also the same brand as the um, the bar bag I've got these are the thrash and supply uh, essential bags they also make the larger one the the escape bags which I think good for for weekend stuff but uh, I've put these ones on just with a bit of gear just for running around town and stuff like that they work pretty good and I've you'll see I put like a little lock on there just to stop people from knocking stuff off downtown if I'm parked up and the uh, the bag up here as well which um, I usually run a lock on this one too if I'm out and about but around the house kicking off I just leave it leave it as it is so I really like that doesn't get in the way of moving the uh, the bars or anything like that I've had a few people ask me if it gets in the way but uh, more than fine and just yeah just sits nicely no rubbing or anything I have put some zip ties on it too just to stop people from wanting to take it away uh, and the the GoPro mount as well so I have put the uh, the um, what do you call it uh, the vibration damper on there as well just because I've did a bit of reading on the internet about uh, people's camera phones getting stuffed up on it so especially the iPhone so I thought that was definitely a must as well but uh, this is pretty much it so Motor, motor wise I've done the stage two so I've put um, the the two brothers racing two into one pipe on here uh, just with the keeping the standard air filter size but I have done the uh, the upgrade just to the the K&N replacement filter as well as the uh, I think it's Magnus or maximum uh, ECU here as well in Australia um, seems to be the go so that's that's in with the tune as well as the 
fueling uh, 472 Reaper cam as well. So it puts down about 116 horsepower at the rear wheel with 172 newton meters of torque. Uh, which, yeah, I, I think uh, coming from a sports bike rider, jumping onto this, it's uh, plenty of poke and I've definitely uh, embarrassed a few sports bikes riders on this as well as uh, some cars too. So definitely, definitely moves along pretty nicely. So probably the part that most people are pretty keen to um, to see in here is what what the bike sounds like with the uh, the stage two with the the Reaper cam kit and the uh, the two into one. Uh, I think it definitely sounds much better than stock, and and uh, I'm not sure if I'll go past stage two. Uh, I think uh, the power it puts down now is, is really nice. Um, you know, getting a stage two wasn't too expensive either, um, and yeah, just keeping reliability and stuff like that. I think it's. Uh, not a bad, not a bad little setup. So we'll kick it over. Okay, let's start it. The thing I will go through is just quickly what the um, the screen information looks like. So off to the uh, the left side, you've just got your uh, scroller here to go through all the options on the uh, the little display. So from here, you've got R for um, for your uh, fuel. So 320 on a on a full tank here. So I'm yet to sort of really get many Ks on the bike, as you'll see in a sec, but. Uh, I'm hoping for at least that 300 k's a tank would be nice. Uh, you've got the time. Yeah. Uh, k's, trip A, trip B, and that's pretty it. Uh, pretty much it. Pretty simple, uh, but I think it's nice. Uh, and obviously you've got the, the, uh, the taco down there as well. I don't really find myself looking at the uh, the bottom gauge much at all. I might glance every now and then just to make sure that uh, if I've indicated and I've came back, it's uh, it's not still flashing. They they are automatic indicators, so once you you flick them on, uh, make the turn, they'll, they they should come off. But I have had a few times where they haven't, so I just sort of glance down every now and then make sure I'm not indicating. While we're at it, I figured I'd give you all a bit of a look at what the um, the indicators look like with the Moon's MC. LED indicators, they're pretty nice, pretty bright at night as well. And I also have used the the Moon's MC uh, smoked out uh, caps as well, the lens caps there. I did buy the Harley branded ones, but I found that they were a little bit on the, uh, the clear side, a little bit too clear for me, so I've decided to go with these slightly darker ones. Okay, and here are the rears as well. Now, a little bit of a trick here in Australia. Um, Obviously, we don't use the the, the red uh, lighting is uh, for uh, indicating here. Uh, I doubt they're ADR compliant. I did buy originally the the red ones by mistake, but what I've done is actually ordered the uh, the front amber indicators um, for the rears as well. Although um, for some reason on the the rear indicators, I've had to. Um, cross over the the wiring and re-solder the LED lights to actually flicker amber because um, the front ones which is what I've got on the rear as well they do have a a white clear uh, running LED light so for when you're not indicating they'll just stay white uh, which I was hoping that would work here uh, with the way that I guess the indicators are set up in Australia with the the, the wiring and the connections but Apparently they're different, so I can't actually run the the white running lights. Uh, and when I connected these rear ones in, by default, no matter which way I connected the the indicators in, they would flash white only. Uh, so that wasn't going to work. So what I had to do is uh, there's three wires: white, yellow, and black for memory. And what I've done is just cut the the yellow and the whites and just and just switch them over so they actually uh, flash the other colour being the amber so they work so far so good 
um, but yeah, pretty pretty happy with them overall. Okay, well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, that's that's been my first video, so hopefully not not too bad. I'll see how I go editing this up now. But uh, if you've liked it, uh, definitely give us a thumbs up and appreciate any comments. Uh, happy to answer any questions as well. Okay, Uru.